Installing a cable to power the other outlets from a receptacle installed in a metal junction box. Receptacle installed in a metal junction box and powered by a BX, armored, cable. Because the BX cable in the existing receptacle outlet is 14 gauge, a 14. 2NM, non-metallic sheathed, cable will be installed from the existing outlet to power other electrical outlets. Turn off the circuit breaker that powers this receptacle. Make sure the power is turned off. Unscrew the receptacle and check if more wires can be connected to the junction box. This is a metal junction box with 214 AWG, American wire gauge, BX, armored, cables and a ground pigtail. It is a 3 by 2 by 2 and 3 quarters inch metal junction box. This metal junction box is slightly smaller to meet the NEC, National Electrical Code, requirements for calculating box fill, but can still practically accommodate one 14 gauge cable. The best option is to replace this junction box with a larger one or see if you can get power from another power source. To avoid major additional wall damage when working on add-on projects, the cable powering the new outlet will be routed from this junction box, which is very common during such work where such a decision does not create very critical and dangerous problems later. In my opinion, if this connection is made correctly, it will pose no more hazards than a connection made in an appropriately sized junction box, but all regulations must always be followed. The decision to add cable or replace the junction box is yours. Junction box cable knockouts. Hole for the screw securing the cable clamp. Disconnect the existing receptacle. Open one of the cable knockouts in the junction box. If necessary, open the wall and run the cable from where the new electrical outlet will be installed, then insert it into the junction box cable knockout. Cable inserted into the receptacle junction box. Ground pigtail wire. Neutral wires, white. Hot wires, black. 14. 2 nm cable wires, white, neutral wire. Bare, ground wire. Black, hot wire. Wire nuts. Wire nuts for splicing the ground wire. Cable clamp for nm cables. Secure the inserted cable with a clamp cable connector.
Remove the sheath from the cable. Duplex receptacle, front view. Duplex receptacle, rear view. Ground terminal, green screw. Neutral terminals, silver screws. Hot terminals, gold screws. Using the wire nuts, connect the wires as follows. Ground wire, bare from the cable to the ground wire from the junction box, leaving the pigtail wire after splicing and inserting the connection into the junction box outside the junction box. Take the white wire for the pigtail. Connect it to all the neutral, white, wires and leave the pigtail outside the junction box. Take the black wire for the pigtail. Connect it to all the hot, black, wires and leave the pigtail outside the junction box. Trim all pigtail wires, no shorter than 6 inches. 
Strip the ends of the wires to a length of approximately one half inch. Make loops at the ends of the wires. And connect the wires to the receptacle as follows. Ground, bare, wire from the junction box to the ground terminal, green screw. Neutral, white, wire from the junction box to the neutral terminal, silver screw. Hot, black, wire from the junction box to the hot terminal, gold screw. Secure the receptacle to the junction box. Receptacle or switch spacer. If necessary, install a spacer between the receptacle yoke and the junction box. Install the receptacle wall plate. 